When an unstable nucleus decays, it fires out alpha, beta, or gamma radiation. What are the three types of nuclear radiation, and what are the dangers and uses? Firstly, an alpha particle, made of two neutrons and two protons, basically a helium nucleus with a mass of four and a charge of plus two. When a nucleus is too big, it emits an alpha particle to become smaller. An alpha particle is ejected at about 5% light speed and has enough energy to kick electrons from atoms, turning them into ions. Alpha is the most ionizing, creating 30 to 50,000 ions per centimeter of air. But being highly ionizing means it quickly loses energy and stops, giving it the shortest range of about one to five centimeters in air and it can't pass through skin. Next is a beta particle, basically a fast electron with a very small mass and a charge of minus one. When a nucleus has too many neutrons, it turns one into a proton by emitting a beta particle. The beta particle is emitted at about 60% light speed. The beta particle is less ionizing than alpha, creating 50 to 100 ions per centimeter of air. But because it loses energy slower, its range is larger than alpha, about one meter in air, up to two centimeters in living tissue, or three millimeters in aluminium. Finally, a gamma particle, the highest energy electromagnetic wave or photon, which is massless and chargeless. When a nucleus has too much energy, it releases a gamma ray to get rid of it. Gamma is the least ionizing, as little as three to five ions per centimeter of air. This gives it the longest range, hundreds of kilometers in air, tens of centimeters through living tissue, and is halved in intensity by 1.2 centimeters of lead. Here's a summary of the three types of nuclear radiation. Now, what are the dangers? There are two types of danger. Firstly, irradiation, when the radioactive source is outside your body, or contamination, when the radioactive source is inside your body. Alpha danger. When an alpha source is outside the body, because alpha can't penetrate the skin, there is little danger from irradiation. But if the alpha source enters the body, the high ionization rate causes huge localized damage to living tissue, posing a severe contamination danger. Beta danger. Unlike alpha, beta radiation can penetrate skin, although generally it doesn't reach internal organs, posing a moderate irradiation danger. If the beta source enters the body, the higher penetration causes more spread out internal damage, posing a lower but still moderate contamination danger. Finally, gamma danger. Gamma can penetrate deep into organs, giving it a high irradiation danger. However, from inside the body, because gamma is most penetrating, most of the gamma passes out of the body, giving it the lowest contamination risk. Here's a summary of the dangers. Now, what are the uses? Alpha use, smoke alarms. Inside a smoke alarm is an alpha source and a detector. When alpha is detected, the alarm is silent, but when smoke enters and blocks the alpha, the alarm is triggered. Because alpha has a five centimeter range in air, it is safe for home use. Beta use, measuring thickness of objects. Take a sheet of paper. A beta source is placed on one side and a detector the other. A sheet of paper with the desired thickness may absorb 50% of beta particles. But thicker paper would absorb more beta and thinner paper less beta. So then thickness can be tested without any physical contact. Gamma use, medical imaging. A gamma emitting source is injected into the patient, which then spreads into the body. Gamma rays then leave the body where they are detected and a 3D image can be formed of the inside of the patient. So that's nuclear radiation explained. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe.